Okay, let's try a new playbook. We're gonna try the run and shoot playbook. Hey coach, don't screw it up. Listen up, Val, what do you mean don't screw it up? You're on the damn team. Why are you saying don't screw it up? Okay, you should be the one saying that to yourself. Hey coach, just got off the phone with the commissioner. He has decided that a lose this game will change your record two to three automatically. That doesn't make any sense. That's literally impossible. Why are you talking to the damn commissioner? You're a player. That's not your damn job. That, that ain't even my job. We have the 0-4 Detroit Lions, okay? They're coming in here, and listen, they're here, they're, they're here to make a damn statement, okay? Because what you got to realize is these teams come in, I don't give a damn what their record is. These, these folks are hungry. Their season ain't over yet. What better way to turn their damn season around than to come hey, into Coach damn just Dallas, hungry. Texas? Out of all the boys, which one would you take camping? Would you give us a nice bear hug as we drift off to sleepy land? We are Coach. about to play a damn football game and you're worried about camping. You keep thinking like that, you can worry about camping your sorry ass outside the damn stadium. What the hell's wrong with you, son? Good God almighty. We need to go out there and play our football. There ain't no better thing in the world for their season than to come here into this damn house, okay, here in Arlington, Texas, and beat the undefeated football team in the NFL. The, the lone undefeated football team in the NFL, I believe. Hey, Coach, I think someone put something in my jock strap cause everything itches and smells funny. Did you forget to lock up last night after no, the there, ice No, there wasn't party? nothing in your jock strap. There was something in your wife's coochie, okay? You, you best go see a doctor after the damn game. Don't shower while everyone else is showering. Good Lord, we gotta get out there, we gotta play the damn game. Hey! I know you said to talk to the nutritionist about pizza, but when I asked, he told me to go away. So I'll ask again, can we get some pizza? Good God Almighty. George Means, break them out. Let's go win this damn game. Okay, here we go, Patterson. Hey coach, don't screw up a four to zero season. Oh, what? Oh, he's gonna take a shot right away. Why did it even let me throw the ball? I now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throws right side. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to get the ball moving, chat. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he slips up past the... Get the snap. Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Okay. Instead, looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And he will bring it back. That's a ball he would like to have back. And yeah, no shit. The lap of the defender from there. Are you kidding me, announcer? He gets to go. Off the play fake. Patterson. And oh, he took Dude, Tolbert is, is going to end up being such a good draft pick, man. Off play action. Patterson. No! Put your hands up in the air. That was a touchdown, dude. And on third and looking to throw. Patterson. Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Akuda. He's got daylight. He's at the 40. You can't. You got to be kidding me. 10. And he will bring it back. They I'm telling you, my receivers suck. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Takes it at the seven. Oh! Turn up past the 30. Past midfield. No, dude, what is this game, dude? And he will score. What is this game? There has been three touchdowns scored, and none of them have been on offense. Max, Rookie quarterback six, Paul Grant getting the start. And this is a game. First overall pick. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this oh. Is oh boy. Nice, dude. Okay, that was not very promising for the first overall pick. Nice. Big run. Hey, we're getting the momentum back, chat. Hey, chat, what did I tell you about the rule of 14? There's always a chance, dude. Oh, we're running it here, dude. Look at that big hole in the middle. Look at that. Their defense is so spread out. Nice. Effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Over the middle, complete. Brick. Oh yes, this is also insane. Ready? 
Oh, ref! Thank you. The flag. Ref, all game they've been doing that, ref. Thank you, ref. You get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen in the what? end of the cover. And you mentioned yeah. the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure to him. At all nice. Clean, dude. Step up in the pocket. Boom. Hell of a first half, okay? We had a little bit of adversity coming out there, didn't we? I, I told you these son bitches were going to come out. And they're going to come smack you in the mouth, didn't I? Hey, it don't matter they were on 4 They're going to come out here. They're here to save their damn season. Their damn season is on life support. Okay, they're going to play the best football they can. So we get a little bit of adversity. We come out 0 to 14 right off the bat. Patterson, you got you've got to get the ball there faster. Okay? This is the NFL. This ain't college no more. You got to be able to get the ball there. Otherwise it's going to get intercepted. I guarantee MT it is. So glad to be healed and back on the field, but I don't think the duct tape is the best fix for broken ribs. Gordon it's Carl. Not going to hold much longer. Gordon, listen, you'll be fine. We just put a little bit of duct tape on it. And your broken ribs will be okay. You got to get your ass back there. And hell of a job, by the way. Two and a half sacks. Coach, you forgot your sandals again. I don't need no damn sandals. Okay, we're fine. I need to see some deep throws. So I'm, I need you to go out there, Patterson. Stop throwing damn interceptions. And let's get the ball out there deep, okay? We're going to go out there and we're going to win the damn game, okay? Hey, Stupid. Coach, really feeling the momentum. I saw that ice cream on the bus can't yep. for the party. Wait, no. No, we're not having no ice cream party. That was not ice cream on the bus. Okay, let's go out there. Let's kick some ass. Gordon Carl, break him out. Here we go, third down. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing. Oh! 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 oh. Nice, dude. Back to throw. Patterson. And it's Nice! And the Cowboys will fake it. Correct. And that one goes virtual. A loss on that play. What? Ben Malone. Perfect timing user pick. No. Come on. He's not laughing it off. But that he is into the end zone for a cowboy. Hey, that's game chat. We're taking over. This game's starting to snowball out of control. I hear my old college coach right now. Just to tell us Dude, why is Paul Grant playing so bad? His rating is pretty good. Back to throw. Patterson. Oh, what? Oh, ref. For the third time thus far. No way. By Malik Hooker. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Please, please. Please interference. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dave. Happy to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. Oh yes. Gordon Carl. His first game back from injury. Nice, dude. Oh, very fancy at the pinky hunt. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. And now look at oh, this. fumble! Jimmy fumble. Madden! It's picked up by the Cowboys. Nice! It's not easy. No, we're just owning. A gain of a place to go with the football. And the front, terrific job on the edge. So he couldn't escape What? Out. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 35. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, come on, Stills. You got to catch that freaking football. What are you doing? Looking to throw. Patterson. Nice. Dude, doubters are just getting dumped on this season. That was obviously a hell of a football game. We were really, really proud of the way our, uh, our, uh, our, uh, our football team performed. Media International Conglomerate. Mm -hmm. Your tough love coaching method of teasing ice cream parties and camping okay. with your favorite players but never delivering and withholding has garnered a lot of hate and criticism from other teams. This season, I however, have never it seems once. to be working. Why do you think the current roster has adapted so well under such a tyrannical ruler? Okay, well here, first things first, the, I never promised ice cream at all. That was something hey, they asked for and I just Dan said from no. Live stream fails. With you know, the news just that dropping simple. that the Cowboys live in slum homes on average of only $2.7 million with only five bedrooms. Are you worried they might unionize? I hope you are proud of yourself paying literally nothing. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I think Ed Patterson throughout the first five games of the season has proven he has what it takes to play here in the NFL. But listen, this, this is a team effort, team win, because 
And it has to a be. A super sweaty and drunk Tony Roma walks into the room. You stole my job, you son of a bitch. I was supposed to lead this team, and now they Roma. got me commentating. Tony, Tony. Freak you, coach. I'm going to go get ice cream if any players Tony. want to join me. Tony, you haven't played for damn near eight years at this point. Wait, I... Congrats, coach, on beating an 0-4 Lions team that has no defense. Your QB has thrown another 2-plus INT game along with more pick sixes. It, it is... Are you going to trade him like you did with Dax? No, no. I... Listen, the difference between Patterson and, and a lot of these other fellas is he's been able to actually get the ball to the receivers, which is a huge issue that we had with uh, with our other quarterbacks, unfortunately. We went out there using using some of the run and shoot concepts and stuff that we implemented in the playbook. Uh, and again, he's done a really good job with that. Hey Question. coach, Rebecca with a K from BuzzFeed. There was a lot of fumbles today. Do you owe the stripping power of the defense to all the extra time the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have been spending in the yeah. locker room before or, and after games? No, no, that did not happen at all, okay? That is not something that has occurred. I, I don't know what, what all you're, you're, you're saying about all that now. But yes, you know, we, we have worked extra in practice to attack the football. That's a key for our defense. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. Every time that quarterback puts that ball in the air, that is not the offensive ball. That is not the offensive ball. That ball so is whoever is wants to go get it. Thanks for info, coach. We'll be sure to write that in no, the paper that's, tomorrow. No, that's not what I said. Y'all just like to go and y'all make a bunch of fake news and, and twist my words like, like some dadgum word wizard and turn something I'm saying into something else. I'm out of here. I, I, I'm out of here, okay? Hey, coach. Wojo here from the Detroit News. Can you comment on allegations that you were seen earlier getting ice cream with Jared no. Goff prior to him needing to be replaced due to an upset stomach? No, no, that did not happen. There was no ice cream. I'm leaving. Hey, coach, before the game, I was approached by a woman giving lamb jobs. No, I, of course, you were took not. up the offer, and that's why I played so well. I took your credit card and paid her to so she can travel with the team and give Wait, everyone what lamb the jobs hell? before Who? the game. Hey, I'm in a damn press conference. Get the hell out of here. I'm leaving, no further questions, good lord.